Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to Aztec today. Uh, we rode Thunder Valley yesterday, and um, I didn't get to do Trails Friday like I wanted. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and go to Aztec. I've already got both bikes loaded up from yesterday. So my buddy Luke's going to be there. Um, I don't know who else will actually be there because I didn't like tell anybody, which is kind of my fault. I, I actually wasn't planning this initially, but as I thought about it, I was like, you know, I've already got everything loaded up, so all I gotta do is get up and go to the track. So that's what I decided to do today. So I went to Thunder Valley yesterday, and the funny thing is, is like, like this is how I can describe Aztec versus Thunder Valley for a slow guy. Aztec makes you feel like a hero, like you know what you're doing on a bike, and Thunder Valley definitely exploits your lack of confidence or trust in your abilities, so. Um, yeah, it's just, it's it's a much more serious track as far as the jumps go, but like I said the, um, in my video about Thunder Valley, the dirt there was amazing, probably the best dirt I've ever ridden on, and uh, some sections you could literally put the bike anywhere you want and it was just going to grip, so um, in that regards, like Thunder Valley was definitely amazing, and uh, I was glad I was able to knock out some of like the small like pre-jumps, I guess you'd call them, before the actual big jumps. But Aztec, it's just like, you feel like you can do, you know, most of the jumps or like there's definitely parts of them you can do even if you don't clear the whole thing. It certainly feels comfortable and it definitely feels like, you know, home to me now since I've ridden there so much. Um, I don't know what else there is to say to it, but I definitely feel like I'm faster there and more comfortable and uh, it is an easier track to ride, especially after going to Thunder Valley. So just thought I'd mention that. Kind of interesting how that all plays out mentally in your head. Hello, we're at Aztec Raceway, guys, on the YZ250X. Gonna spin a few laps on this bad boy, see how we do today riding her. Let's get her uh, started up, warmed up, and then let's get on the track. And see how much. Uh, struggle or feel comfortable riding here today so hoping the layout's similar this bike has my interest because I swear that's a TM maybe it's graphics it is a TM so I wasn't crazy okay you just don't see a lot of those around here Flat on track. Wow. Okay, track's great. Riding, not so much. 
with it. That was my first touching out. And yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the 250 up and loaded. I feel like riding that. Oh boy. Alright, guys. Old man going out on a 250 YZ. Oh my god, you and your redundant terms, man. Going out on the YZ 250F. Sorry, I already. <laughs> I already went back on what I said in the pits or in the truck, I guess, that I was going to focus on riding the two shows. And after the first session, I'm already wanting to get out on this bike. So, it is what it is. I just want to, uh... Like or me, so. I just wanted to jump in here really quickly and explain why I swapped over to the YZ250F after riding the two-stroke for the first session. Um, there was a tabletop I was hitting in the back the previous week, and for some reason it felt like the suspension was reacting weirdly when I was trying to jump it on the two-stroke. Um, little did I know that the face of the jump was reshaped, but once I hopped on the YZ250F and I rode the track and I hit that tabletop a few times, I realized it was the jump, not the bike. And anyway, it just messed with me. I just wanted to make sure um, it wasn't the bike, it was actually me or something else, and that's why I swapped over the bikes, but I do ride the two-stroke again.
work on it up. I guess you'll eventually get it, right? Okay, but dude, lots of uh, lots of traffic. Can't believe I'm that slow to get on the throttle. Like I can tell, that's where I'm losing so much time. And I'm sorry, Daniel, if I'm jerking the throttle and I don't even realize it. I'm not rolling that smoothly. Look how busy the pits are. We've got so many people here today. It's just making the track really crowded, unfortunately. I mean, I have to estimate there's probably around 50 to 60 bikes riding at least. So, it's a lot of people, especially on a layout like this where it's definitely fast, but it uh, makes it really short lap time so you come across people more and more, which people are coming across me more than I'm coming across people, but <laughs> hey. So you know what that sound means, we're going out on the two-stroke. They're doing stage practices, so going out with the novice old guys, as they called it. Novice and old guys. I'm kind of curious how many people are out here, though. Oh man, there's a lot in this group, too. Huh. Clear track. See how quickly you can catch me, right? <laughs>
I can do it. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, that corner is so crappy. Day of riding over. It's a so tense running for 15 minutes. I'm trying to go fast. Whew. I want to go out again. I don't really want to call, but I don't really have a choice. Let's see what time it is. Yep. Okay. Well, let's get this bike loaded up and uh, or these bikes really, and then we'll head home. Oh man, that's my 